Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to Victoria Free. We are going to do another achievement run and this time we will do this in version 1.2. It's now out of the beta, everyone can now uh, play this version. Uh, a lot of things have changed, well most of the things we already saw in my other videos, but uh, we are going to do a new game. So let's uh, see over here, we are not going to do any objectives of course because we did these already on the channel. And we are going to play as Egypt. And we have an achievement to form Arabia and to conquer a certain province. Should not be too hard to do. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go and see what uh, Muhammad Ali Al Alawi can do in Arabia. So I will uh, come. Be I will be back to you when we are in the game. All right, we are back in the game, and before we start, I want to show all my patrons. I want to thank everyone for supporting me. Some of you are doing this for a really long time. Uh, some are doing this more than over a year, and um, all your support makes a difference to the channel. It really does. It helps me to buy games. It helps me to, uh, well, to upgrade everything. Um, and since this is my hobby and not my full-time job, one dollar already makes a difference. So thank you so much, and uh, if you are interested in supporting me, take a look at the links in the description. Okay, let's have a look at our starting position over here. So Egypt is actually not that weak. Uh, we have 105 troops and our main arrival is the Ottomans. They have 145 troops. We have the same amount of boats. So if I can build a couple more boats before we go to war with the Ottomans, I can actually do naval invasions, which will help uh, things uh, speed up. So that will be a priority, I think, at the start of the game. Uh, let's just go over all the tabs over here and set up for the game. So let's start with the politics. Uh, we have our leader, Mohammed Ali Al Alawi. He is a jingoist. He likes mass conscription and colonial exploitation. He is part of the armed forces. He is, uh, as a ruler, he gives us 10% uh, equality spread. He gives uh, some good bonuses as a commander. But right now he's not a commander, so we could make him a commander. He gets uh, less morale loss, so that's actually... Not bad, and he's also persistent. He has some good character health bonuses as well. But he's also very popular, so apparently this is a very good ruler. And um, what you can do is click on this portrait and click this button here. And now he is a an, uh, an, uh, commander, so I think we're going to make use of him. Uh, let's go back to the politics. So at the moment we only have the armed forces in uh, the government. You can reform the government and we could put in more groups, for example, uh, the Sunni ulama and the landowners. We will have a righteous government, so I think we're going to do this. Um, only the rural folk are now not in and of course all the other groups are marginalized. We have no industry, we have not, no liberalization, we have nothing really. We have almost no shops, so we need to make a change over there. Over there. Um, and when we take a look at our laws, we have slave trade, we have serfdom, we have child labor, closed borders, no one can migrate, uh, we have agrarianism, which means that um, the aristocrats and the farmers have more investment pool, and we are um, using our investment pool for farms only, I think, so maybe we should start building some farms at the start of the game. Before we change this, I will change this fairly quickly. Uh, we do have per capita taxation, that is actually very nice, I think. Yeah, we make a lot more money with uh, that law over there. No police, no schools, no health system, no colonial affairs, absolutely nothing. So we need to make a lot of changes and we also have no institutions at the start of the game. Um, let's also talk about forming Arabia, because... That is the goal as well. So when we go to the cultures and then nation formation, and when you hover over this symbol, you can see on the map what is part of the Arabian um, yeah, map here, the Arabian lands. So it's Egypt and all of uh, the Arabian Peninsula, really. Uh, but I, we will conquer, of course, a lot more. Now, when I click on this, it's a minor unification, so there is no... Yeah, there is no, no unification play whatsoever. You just need to conquer or control these states and then you can click the button. Um, but we also need pan-nationalism, so it's going to take a bit of time. Because this is uh, technology we cannot research very quickly. So, forming Arabia will take at least two decades, maybe even more. 
Um, but the good thing is that these counties over here are very weak. And if we are lucky, then no great power will intervene by taking all of this ourselves. And the same counts for Ethiopia, really. So, yeah, we are going to try to get all these things. We have to go to War of the Ottomans to take uh, four states from him. We need to take Oman, we need to take Nesht, Hedjas, and we need to take all these things over here. That will be for later. Uh, let's see, budget-wise, I will start taxing the people, because we need to build up our economy. And we don't care if they are revolting or not, as long as they are just not revolting enough, we can just tax them, like I guess. Let's take a look at our um, consumption taxes. We'll go with the services, it's 200 for 6,000. Uh, tobacco, um, 2,000 for 100, that sounds like a good idea. Let's also get luxury clothes taxation over here. And what I also will do with my 200 authority left is go to Cairo and use road maintenance because we do have a market problem and we can of course not build any railroads for a while. Uh, we could build more ports. To solve this problem, we get, I think, only five infrastructure from this, so it's not not that much, really. So we will do a road maintenance here, and then we have 200 points left, and maybe we should use it to bolster one of our political groups. I think I'm going to bolster the armed force at the start of the game. See if we can get them to 20%, see if we can get them happy, so we have a attacking boost. of Hopefully 30% when they are getting bigger. So that is done. Uh, we could go to iron frame buildings, but we have absolutely no iron or steel or whatsoever in our country to start. Uh, let's just actually go over the buildings right now. So we have four textile mills, glass works, paper mills, we have three shipyards, seven arms industries, a little bit of urban centers that should go to free churches. I don't want clergymen in my country, I want, to, want them to go away. Um, and yeah... That's it. We have no food industries, we have no furniture, we have no tooling workshops, we have no steel mills. We have no universities in our country and no arts academies. So that is a lot of things we need to do at the start of the game. Now our rural buildings, we have some wheat farms. Um, I will make them uh, produce wine, I think. And we are not going to make them use tools because we have no tools. And we have the fig orchard, so we can make less grain, but we can make some uh, sugar and fruit. So let's do that here as well. The livestock ranges are doing this. We have no tools, so we cannot make more meat. Then we have the coffee, cotton, opium. Oh, we have opium. That's nice. Tea, tobacco, sugar. We have logging camps, not using any tools. We are producing hardwood for our boats, I guess, and for our arms industries. And we could go to fishing trawlers for more fish but the thing is we don't have enough clippers I'm not sure if that is correct we need to look a look at our shipyard do we not have a ship oh yeah here are my shipyards okay so if i go and put on all my fishing trawlers we will not have enough clippers so i can't do this one so uh, yeah we have to build up our economy one by one our armies are actually decent we have mobile artillery and line infantry, so that is actually pretty good. And some of our ports are on an anchorage and some are cargo ports, which gives uh, five infrastructure instead of zero. Okay, that is all done. Uh, I think what we should do is actually put this on iron frame buildings. Even if it's gonna cost us a lot of money because we don't have iron and tools. And we should build up our iron and tools industry. Because right now we are using 30 tools and 150 iron for only 3 construction sectors. Now that is of course nothing. So I think we need to start bu building uh, like 8 iron mines or 7 iron mines to sustain our uh, construction sector. Now we have 3 states where we can do this and Palestina is the best one I think. So we are going to build like... Let's start with 6 of these and then I will build 1 tooling workshop. I guess in the Blue Nile we have a lot of uh, labor over there and a lot of infrastructure. Um, we might build a couple of more uh, construction sectors but we will take a look at our money and see if that is going to be the right thing to do. 
can I see where my investment pool is getting used for at the moment? Or are we not using our investment pool at all? It should be used. It doesn't say anything over here. Oh, no, it does. Uh, yes, can subsidize agricultural, agriculture, ranches, plantations, infrastructure, and trade centers. Maybe we should also make use of that, to be honest. And that way, we should build other things first, like a couple of farms and that kind of things. Maybe that is the best thing to do. Um... I guess we are going to build a couple of livestock ranges, because that will give us more um, uh, fertilizer for later. Yeah, and we could get more plantations as well. And on the other hand, we need to industrialize. Let's just do a mixture so that sometimes we are using our investment pool and sometimes we are not using our investment pool. I think that's a uh, good idea. The grain is somewhat expensive, so we really want to expand something. Do we want more wine or do we want more grain and sugar? I mean, do we want wine or do we want fruit and sugar? Uh, let's get a bit more fruit and sugar. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's get some in the Blue Nile. Let's just start with that to see if we can start uh, using our investment pool. Now, technology-wise, um, I think it is very important that we will go to the railways at some point. Because that way we can solve our, um, our infrastructure problem. Uh, we can also go to Quinnin, so we can start colonizing quicker. What we need to do, we can go and get our army better, which is also very important, because we are going to war with the Ottomans a lot of times, and we need to win. Um, if I go to the general staff, we need ammunition. For the ammunition, you need this technology for the munition plant. And to make the munition plant work, you need chemical plant to make explosives. So... If I go to Intensive Agriculture, we will unlock the chemical plant building. Which will give us more grain and a bit more fertilizer. So I think we're going to go with this one. And therefore I want to do this one first. So that we can... Uh, so that we don't have a penalty for this technology. So I will shift click this as the next one. And maybe after the intensive agriculture, I will go and do the military ones. So, uh, yeah, we need to do this one first. Because that will uh, put away the penalties for all these technologies. And then we will go with the uh, percussion tab, uh, cap, so we get the munition plant, and then we do general stuff. So, that's going to be the things I'm going to do there. Uh, do we have some trade routes? We do, but we have some productive ones. But maybe that fixes it after unpausing. Uh, any more commanders needed? No. Do we have navies left? No. Diplomacy. I never use this screen, really. Uh, we can release some nations, which we are not going to do, of course. Yeah, this screen seems very uh, uh, not useful. Uh, we, have, we went over our cultures. We are uh, discriminating some cultures. Are we discriminating? We are discriminating... Something. Only, only particular exotic religions are discriminated against. Like animist. And orthodox as well? Whoa, okay. Uh, population journal, we have really nothing here. Um, we have a couple of decisions, but that are just the decisions you always have, really. And we don't have any journal entries that are only for Egypt. It's just for everyone. I will make use of the corn laws at the start of the game, because at the moment the landowner leader is a moderate. And if we are going to get an event with the corn laws, we can get a market liberal. And that way we can go to uh, the laissez-faire uh, law very very easily and that way we will get more uh, contribution to from the capitalist and we can actually subsidize industrial buildings instead of only farms that we are doing right now so let's uh, set this up actually this, uh, this this corn law here so what we need to do is to export the grain and they need, and they need to be in the government well they are in the government so if i go to my grain 
and I encourage exports. We should get this uh, journal entry and then we will wait for the right event and make them a market liberals, the landowners. Okay, that is done. Uh, we need to spend our influence. I think I'm just going to improve with Great Britain and France. Hopefully they will stay out of our affairs over here. We have 400 points left. Can we also improve with Austria? Yes. Let's also improve with Austria. Okay, that is done. Anything here? Oh, and we have some insufficient taxation capacity in Lower Egypt as well. So we have some market access problems and taxation uh, inefficiency. And let's see if the unproductive trade route will go away when we unpause the video. I think it's time to um, start playing. And then we should start, um, I think, vassalizing these counties over here. Alright, let's start with this one, Jabal Shamar. The state is super uh, weak, there's only one barrack and that's it, so... Really no one should care about this state, so... We get 3.4 infamy, if I conquer the state we get 5.6 infamy. How many people are here? Is it worth it to take to take the province? I mean, it's uh, it's actually a lot of infamy for just nothing. So maybe we should just vassalize him. Let's start vassalizing this country. Uh, let's put Muhammad Ali himself at the front. And then I think we did everything that I want to do. Oh yeah, for the people that are interested in my mods that I use, they are in the description of the video. A lot of people are asking for this. Take a look at my description guys, there is a lot of information there about mods that I use and all the links that I have, Twitter, Discord. Um, I don't really need to know these messages, I'm going to turn them off. Uh, I don't need a pop-up here. I want you to get maybe a feed. There we go. I don't need to know when people are... Improving relations, really. Maybe you should just put it all the way. Just none. We don't need to know this. It's just only pop, uh, popping up for nothing. Okay, I think we are going to speed 5. And we already have an import good shortage for tools, really. What is using tools, then? Yeah, the construction sector. Can we import from someone? Yes. Let's get a bit of tools. And we should use our investment pool right now for the farms, but we are not doing this. Why? We should use our investment pool for this farm. Or am I missing something? Oh, that's subsidizing. It's not telling me about uh, where the investment pool is used for. It's not over here then. Uh, what? I thought it was here. Why is it not saying that I can use my investment pool for? Yeah, the current economic system law permits to be built with these funds. As constructions of the place, the funds required to build them are deducted from the investment pool and deposited in the treasury as an investment pool transfer. Maybe we need to get a certain amount first before they are getting transferred? I don't know. It sounds uh, pretty weird, to be honest. But yeah, we need to build up our economy. So, oh wait. I think we just got a bit of a... Uh, No we, no, we don't. I don't know what's this, what's going on. Is anyone helping you? No one is helping Yabal Shamar at the moment, so that is good news for us. So I think we're going to get it uh, ourselves. Let's go to speed 5. There's no reason to wait. Yeah, no one is uh, helping Yabal Shamar, so they, we will vassalize him pretty easily. There we go. No one will stop you. No, I'm not using my investment pool for some reason. Hmm. No idea. Let's just start building up um, our tooling industry. Let's just start building the, the mines. Oh yeah, there is something what we also need to do. You start as Egypt with some states not um, 
incorporated. I think this were, these were just conquered in the last war against the Ottomans. So we will uh, actually integrate all the states over here. We want to tax the people over there because they have a lot of taxes. You can see that we are already not making any money. Well, now we are. Okay, there is the investment pool transfer. Okay, so we are using our investment pool for agrarian buildings. Okay, that's good to know. And is the grain price a bit normal? Yes. Uh, we could use a lot more sugar. We can use it in a grocery uh, building. And that's exactly what my capitalists or my ar aristocrats are building over here. They are building a food industry in uh, Matru. Now we will have a lot of sugar, so I will put all of this on. We are going to use our sugar to make groceries and liquor. Now my liquor price is actually... fairly low at the start, so maybe we should not make any liquor. Interesting. Okay, let's start building up our iron mines and our tools. Um, I should put in a tooling workshop as well. We did that in where? I think in Middle Egypt. There we go. This is a bit up. Oh, not this. Let's build the tooling workshop over there. Seems that we are making a lot of money still. Uh, no bread, no freedom. This is the first event we get from the corn laws. We don't want this event. Let's make people more radical. Oh, that is a lot of radicals. Oops. Why am I getting an investment pool transfer? For an iron mine. Where does it tell me? What is getting funded? Please tell me in the comment section. I'm confused that I didn't find it. I'm going to build a couple more construction sectors. Because I think we can uh, fund it. Start building up our economy a bit quicker. There we go. Yabal Shamar is now our vassal. Uh, Hedjas is already our tributary. But we could also make him our vassal. We cannot integrate him. Um, and I think they don't count at the moment for the nation formation. Uh, let's see, Hedjas. Yeah, see, Hedjas and Nesht, they are both not uh, counting in. So maybe we should go and um, vassalize Hedjas instead of making him a tributary. Let's make him a vassal. Let's put my troops at the borders and see if we can get away with this. See if someone is going to help Hedjas or not. A grain of power. This is another horrible corn law event, I think. Uh, we can make more uh, the aristocrats more loyal, but let's not make them too loyal. Let's do this thing first. We are also not doing any law changes right now, because I am actually waiting that we can go to the less affair by the right event. Then we will start doing uh, law changes. Now, let's see if someone is going to uh, help Hedjas. I hope no one is going to do this. Uh, Great Britain and France are protective. Austria is cautious. Russia is disinterested. Spain is protective. And yeah, Russia and the Ottomans hate us. That, that can become a problem. And a very big problem, actually. Oh, there is the event that I want. A modern conservative. So you can read this, just pause the video. But uh, we have a new leader. And this leader will be a market liberal. Now, before we continue, stop exports on grain. Did anyone make use of this in the meantime? No. Okay, good. Good to know. So when you put that back, the corn laws will stop. And when it stops, you get a fantastic bonus. You get the laborers and peasants in Egypt more loyal. We have a lot of peasants, so this number will skyrocket. The loyals. We have now half a million loyal people, and it gives plus one approval everywhere, so... Yeah, it's a very cheesy way to start the game, really. Because now we can go... Oh no, we can't go to uh, Les Affair, because we have served them. We cannot, get, we, have, we cannot have isolationism served on of anarchy. 
Uh, we have no anarchy and we have no isolationism, I think. That is here, right? Where's isolationism? I don't know. Here? I don't know what isolationism is in this law change. But what we need to do is get rid of Servnum. And that's really good because uh, we will get rid of 50% landowner's political strength. Uh, and we lose the maximum infrastructure from population malice. And we get more investment pool contribution from the aristocrats if we abolish this. And that's what we are going to do now. Because the landowners don't like this anymore because we have a new leader. And everyone likes this, so we will do this, and then we go to the lesser fair. We have no more serfdom in Egypt. It's gonna cost us a lot of money. Because I think we make less products. Since we have so much peasants. But it's only fair to do this, really, for the peasants in our country. Now, we are losing a lot of money at the moment. That is a small problem. And it seems that uh, no one is helping Hedjas, right? Fantastic. You can now do a strategic objective, right click on a state, and you tell the game and the forces to go there. There they go. They're going to the strategic objective, we have their capital, and then we should uh, take this very, very quickly. Done. It's all going to be mine. Uh, can I get some more interests? No. We have interest in all of Africa. I want to keep this thing over here. Actually, what are we bordering? These three. Dar, Fetit, Dinka and, and uh, Nuer. Uh, I don't think that we need this interest here. And I also don't think we need this for now. Well, we could ask the Ottomans to give Tripoli to us. And then I guess I will put one here so we can talk to Prussia, Belgium, Netherlands and France. And Luxembourg if you want to, but we can't trade with them. And then we can maybe get some goods from them. Maybe we can import some of the things we need. For example, more tools. We still need more tools. There we go. Hedjas is now uh, ours. They were already ours, but now they are fully ours. And that should mean that they are now listed as checked. Yes, good. They are now also going to be um, ready for Arabia. Oh, and we failed the 55%. Of course we did. Let's get 20% more. So we have 75 very soon. Uh, to make mines work, we actually need a tooling workshop first. So let's put a tooling workshop in the front. Otherwise, the mines are not going to mine anything. <laughs> That's just uh, ridiculous. <laughs> it's just impossible to mine without tools, Dutchie. <laughs> We are losing so much money. We are losing so much money. I think we need to do this. Okay, at some point you get an investment pool transfer anyway, no matter what you're building. Oh, maybe it's getting active when my... Oh, now I get it. When your private people, your capitalists and your aristocrats and your shopkeepers and your farmers are building buildings... It also activates the investment pool transfer. Interesting. Good to know. And we can maybe do this a little bit longer. Uh, the next thing that we are going to take really. Uh, I think we'll just go and take more over here. Now Nest over here is two states. Or is it just one big state? It's one state with 131,000 people. So there are a, a little bit of people over here. And there's three livestock ranges, and a couple of barracks, and a port. Alright. Well, if I vassalize you, it's 4.8. If I conquer it, it's 6.9 infamy. Guess we're just gonna vassalize this as well. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Boom. Let's see if... Um, hey, where did my army go? One of my uh, commanders died, I think. Is my leader no longer a general? You are a really good general. Why did you... Why, why... What? What is happening? Did I just... Why is he not in the list? Oh, well, I've, I guess I clicked that button, which I don't remember. But you are a fantastic leader, Alalawi. My goodness. He's having so many buffs. Really good general over there. I love it. Okay, yeah, we are not using our wine at all. Maybe we should not make wine. What if I put all this to this? And we're also not using any fruit. Which the millet farms are already making. So yeah, we will just keep making uh, vine, vine over here. Maybe we can export a bit of wine. Maybe people want my wine. Okay, the Ottoman Empire sides with Nesht. But there we go. This is uh, going to be a horrible war. I already know. Um, can I get people on my side? I can get France on my side for an obligation. Now, I will absolutely do this. Because this will be a very big war, I think, against uh, the Ottomans. Um, we need to hold the line, really. I think we need to raise all our conscripts, which is just a couple. And we need to put all our troops to defend against the Ottomans. Maybe we should actually uh, put two troops at the attack over here. And you are going to take Nest down. We need to do this. Let's do this. And maybe we should stop construction. Let's just get one tooling workshop and then I will stop uh, building stuff. Oh, the Ottoman Empire abandoned Nest. So the moment I am asking France in, they abandoned. Can I stop my obligation? No, of course I can't. Ugh. Now we use an obligation of France for nothing. But yeah, that is just how the game goes. And now I raise my conscripts for nothing. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. We have the, uh, the Lath, which means we can uh, do dye workshops now. And we can make more furniture and we can go use leaded glass. Now I don't think we can do anything of these. But I think... Do we have any dyes? We don't have any dye plantations. Can I make dye plantations? Can. In Upper Egypt. Okay, so we can do a lot of things already. But uh, we can also... Can I build... Wait, do we make lead? No. Can I make lead in my country? Yes. There's one place, Sinai. Oh my goodness. We can do a lot of upgrades, but uh, let's just keep doing what we are doing. Getting our tooling uh, industry up. Uh, we can stop paying for the military like this. And what a horrible war. Okay, we have served them abolished. So the uh, political strength of the landowners went down significantly. And this means that we can now get the less affair. Uh, thing here. 50% chance to get this and we get more capitalist and shopkeeper investment pool transfer and I think we can now use our investment pool for industry. When we are succeeding of course. Okay there we go we now have our tools let's make iron tools. What is using this then? Oh yeah the construction sector. Hmm. Yeah, that is a, that is a problem at the start of the game. 
I mean, we are going to make a lot of tools. The, the tools should not become a problem anymore. But it is a problem because we are not making any iron. So we really need to import iron from everyone, everyone we can, really, at the start of the game. Let's see if we can get rid of the uh, shortage. We need more than 200. Come on. There we go. We have no more shortage, but it's super expensive still. Mm, prestige or wine? We don't need wine. I need to be at peace right now, otherwise my whole country collapses. There we go. Nest is now a vessel. And I guess we just need to keep making iron. Okay, my economy is somewhat holding because we are doing an investment pool transfer. So, I don't get it. We are doing an investment pool transfer while we are having agrarianism. And we are building a mine and a tooling workshop. So, I don't understand it. Maybe you guys do, but I don't. Are we going to get this? No. No. Uh, we're not going to make the landowners more popular. We're going to do this thing. And when this is done, we are going to make our armed forces actually... Um, uh, ...happy. Now what we first should do is get uh, our bureaucracy problem solved. So we do have one state with taxation problems, Lower Egypt. That is this one, our capital state, where everyone lives really. And I'm going to put two more government administrations in. So that we will solve our problem here. And we get our bureaucracy problems uh, solved for a while. Now since we now have more tools. I'm actually going to build another tooling. Oh wait, we are building another one from the, uh, the capitalists here. Or the aristocrats. So we don't have to build another tooling workshop. But that means that we can now finally use harvesting tools, we can use harvesting tools here, we can butchering tools, and we can use sawmills to get more of our goods over here. I think that's going to be it. The food industry is, uh, is up and running, using a nice amount of uh, grain and sugar. I think when I do this, yeah, we're not using any liquor, so that makes this building not profitable. So let's put this back for now. Yeah, let's just continue like this. We cannot use any steel yet. Steel is only used for tooling workshop, motor industries, and we don't have any of this available. Would be nice if we can get steel tools, but for this one we need mechanical tools technology. Yeah, we won't get that for a while. So, not gonna happen. Alright, that's going to be the first episode, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, say something in the comment section. Take a look at my uh, social links and uh, consider becoming a Patreon. One dollar a month already makes a difference because it's a hobby. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.